on a street in Bali and when I first arrived to the island and I was headed towards the ferry to go to Nisida, I found a street that had tons of plant shops and my goal was to come here and just walk and take a look at any of the spaces that are open that is in the house plant community because there's a lot of landscaping here so let's just go and take a walk I don't know exactly how far I'm going to walk but I will try my best to share what plant life looks like here in Bali so don't forget to thumbs up the video and comment down below here we go oh my goodness this is already a good sign look at the plants My goodness, stop. Right, here's my first beautiful plant nursery. I'm gonna share with you. Thank you so much. I will look around and cry at all the beautiful plants. Look at this. One of my favorite plants. This is a variegated um, arrowhead. It's very beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the painted lady. So cool. Variegated lily. Wow, look at the ferns. No. <gasps> Anthuriums. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. <gasps> no. Stop. Look at the silver sword. Just chilling here. Monster Adonsonii. I mean, what? Oh my goodness. Thumbs up the video, guys. How beautiful. Pepper Romeo watermelon. <gasps> Look back here. Oh my goodness, the way how it's growing. Oh my gosh, what is that? That is so interesting. I don't know if that's a Ripsalis. Comment down below if you guys know what plant that is. Oh my goodness, that is. I would love to have that in the collection. goodness <gasps> take a look at this there's so much to see I'm gonna try my best to go as slow as I can to share the plants here uh, like literally everything hidden here And this is just the first plant shot. Look at how big. It's crazy. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. That could be the monster of Peru from what I see here. Oh my goodness, look at this. I don't even know what it is. It might be an anthurium. I've never seen it before. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at all the sense of areas. Okay, stop. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is a monkey's tail or the rat tail. I'm like totally just pulling up and sharing, but he doesn't mind if I film. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Come with me. This was definitely my goal to share what plant life looks like in Bali before I leave. 
Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. If you take a look really deep in here, look at that. Oh, you guys already know some of my favorite plants. This is an epiphyllum and looks like it's about to bloom too. Wow. I am blown away by the plant life in Indonesia and in Bali. I can definitely come back to film more content for both of the channels because I'm pretty sure there's so many other more plant gems. Whoa, look at this. That's so interesting to me. I'm sure there's many, many more. And if you look really deep in there, there's more splash, pink splash there. Hi, are you the plant guy? Yeah. <gasps> what is your name? Indra. Indra, nice how, to long, meet you. how long have you been into plants? <laughs> 15. 15 years? Yeah. You, what is your favorite plant? Your favorite oh. house plant? Well, I don't. Pilo. Uh, Philodendrons? Yeah. You, okay. And do you find it. Um, what's like the most common plant that people. The most like popular plant right now in Bali that people are looking for? Monstera. The variegated one or yeah. just. Monstera, no. It's the, the elbow or Thai constellation? Yeah. Monstera elbow or Thai constellation? The Monstera. Yeah? yeah? Those are the most popular ones. The king. King. Monstera king. Is that the big? Yeah. Big, big, big one. Yeah. Oh, okay. A Raphidophora tetrasperma. Yeah. Or they call it the mini monstera. Yeah, mini. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have a variegated monstera, but it's too tiny. Like right here, maybe. It's not that, 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 that big. Yeah. And then you know this. The pink princess. Yeah. yeah. Is it a so common here? Yeah. It's a common plant. Common. But you know, in the States, it's a very sought out plant. Oh. Everybody wants the pink princess here. Uh, really? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I think philodendrons right now is so, so popular in the States. And anthuriums. Anthurium. Yeah. This here, is this an anthurium? I've never seen this before. Is it an anthurium? This, too. this, yeah. Yeah, I've seen this um, anthurium in Costa Rica. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's this Antonio. Yes. Wow, what is this right here? This one. It almost this? looked like a pink splash, but... Yeah. Singonium. Yes. Singonium. The... Pink yes. It's one of my favorite plants. Yeah. And it's, uh... In the States, it's so expensive. Already? The pink plant. Yes. Yeah, that's so cheap. That's what I'm saying. I think I need to move to Bali <laughs> yeah. and do my plant channel here. Yeah. This one, this one. Yes. This what is similar. A, in your uh, plant shop here? What is the most uh, expensive rare plant you have? What's considered rare here? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't have the expensive, not so expensive here. Oh, they're all yeah. common plants. Yeah, common plants. On the peperomias and the epiphyllums and the tritiscantias, are those considered like sought out plants that people like to have or not so much? The peperomias and the epiphyllums and the tritiscantias. Yeah. They, they usually they buy for the cafe, restaurant. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, do you think that collecting plants in Bali is something that people are doing or just to put in restaurants and houses in, in this businesses area, only for usually for villa or restaurant my question to you the plant master <laughs> yeah plant you are master. the plant master what is the best way to propagate a philodendron a house plant what's the best way do you wrap the node with like a moss or yeah. coco coir, like from the coconut and wrap it and then it gets the roots and then you cut? How uh, do you propagate? Uh, the, the best for it, wrap with the moss. 
Okay. Yeah. Wrap with the moss. Yeah. And how do you wrap it? Do you use like plastic or? Yeah, with with plastic wrap with. With and the moss. The moss. And then once there's the roots grow out from the node, then you cut. Yeah. That's the best way because you know why in the plant community and I used to do this a lot when I first started propagating years ago is like I would cut right under the node and put in water and sometimes there's no roots for so long and I'm like Ugh! you know and yeah. it, it becomes so stressful like what did I do I cut my mother plant you <laughs> know so okay that's the way how you do it here yeah. oh and another question the mixture that you use for house plants what is in your mixture for like the philodendrons and the the aeroids? Like, what is the mix that you use? Uh, in this one. Yes, mix that you use for the house plants. That is what I'm interested in. What you doing with your soil? With soil. Yeah, for the house plants. I use the like this. Yes. Pakis, yeah, in Indonesia. What is this? Pakis. Pakis. Do you know this one? Mm, I'm not sure. You guys make the totem poles out of this but too. This and uh, rice. Rice. What? Oh, the, the shell of the rice. The husk. The husk. The yeah. outside of the shell. Husk, but already burned. Bur yes, it's brown. Yeah, isn't brown. it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I seen another plant collector doing the same thing too. Yeah. So you mix that. Yeah. And you mix like almost like a bark or something, huh? Oh. Hmm, what is this? From a like tree? This. Yeah, from a tree. Ah! Usually for orchid. Ah! This is so interesting! And you even put like a staghorn fern same way. Yeah. The ferns. Guys, this is so interesting to see plant life around the world. I don't know if we have anything that's similar to this where I'm from, but this is so interesting the way how you, so you break this up and yeah. then you put the 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 burnt shell yeah. of the rice and you and mix it. That's it. Yeah, and soil like this, but the big one. Yes. Yeah, for the elk, the elkhorn fern, they're really big, like this. Same thing. Well, it was very interesting to see your plant shop <laughs> and pick your brain about plant life. Yeah, because you know, like things yeah. like this, yeah, yeah. we don't have, you know, and and like oh, this, yeah? no. Where is he going? What is this? The pass. Pass for. Oh. That already done. Already. Oh, this is it? Yeah. Oh my god. This is gold, I think. Huh? huh? This is like gold. No. This... No, like for plant for plants, this is like gold. Because oh. where I'm from, we don't have this. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a cam. Oh. It's a cam has. Bakar is burned. Interesting. I'm kind of trying to think. Um, okay, there it is. This is what they use here. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I feel like. Oh my gosh, you have so much. And then you also sell it like this. This moss. Moss. Wow, this is some nice moss. <laughs> my moss. Where I'm from, don't look like this. Your mom might be like this? No? Yes, Smart this is the moss. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, moss. yes, that's what I use. Yeah, we use for cooking this for, yes, cheap, cheaper. Cheaper, than okay, this. but I'm still, still probably does the job. I wish I, I don't know if I can take this home. With, on the on the plane, I don't know if they'll take it away. <laughs> Look at his poles he's selling here. Yeah, oh, I would love to take some home. Oh, you have liquor balls. 
Do you find that using leco balls in the soil mixture too is also good? Yeah. Because some people do that. Yeah. Sometimes I some do that too. Like apply. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perlite. Okay, that's so interesting. The black charcoal yeah, yeah, that, that I was talking like, about, but that's the volcanic sand. Yeah. You yeah. Should be bonsai. Okay. Yeah, I collect a lot of euphorbias and I, I love I love them all. I love all the plants. Indra. Indra. It's so nice to plant talk with you. It's very inspiring to talk with you plant like. And I will see you on Instagram. Okay. And Find me on my YouTube channel. Yeah, thank you. I love talking plants. Okay, guys. I'm telling you, plant people are the coolest people. He's so nice. And it was nice that he was, you know, open to talking with me plants. But he did mention that in a different part of Bali, there's more plant shops like this that is actually better than this. And I'm thinking, what are you talking about? I mean, wow. I mean, I'm already blown away by his assortment and selection of plant life here but apparently there's a better place on the island that has more plant life selection i mean look at this take a look at this wow i got the plant tea on where to go so let's cross the street because there's more plant shops i'll walk a little bit on this street and share with you what's in the area and then we're gonna hop on a scooter and go to another part of the island Yeah, that's my patio a part of it <laughs> and i love 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 plants i'm a crazy plant lady